for you today? I found a, a substitute or a no solutions on number 13 okay. on the substitution basis. Okay. Um, I want you to write down this system now. It is another special one. Y is equal to 2x plus 1 and then 2x minus y plus 1 equals 0. There's a couple of ways to do this, and I'll, I'll show you the two ways when I see everybody's got the equations written down. Okay, method one is to compare the slopes and y-intercepts. In order to do that, you need them to be in slope-intercept form. The first one already is, so I'm just going to rewrite it down here as y is equal to 2x plus 1. If I put this one into y equals mx plus b form, look what's going to happen. We're going to get negative y is equal to, this is a positive 2x, so when I move it to the other side, it's going to become negative. negative. This plus 1 is going to become negative. negative. But what was the case with my y? It's negative. So now I have to divide the whole thing by negative 1, which is just going to switch all of the symbols, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to rewrite the second equation down here as y is equal to positive 2x plus one. plus 1. And what do you notice about those two? They're, They're the same. This is what we call infinite solutions. Oh because I want you guys to picture this on a graph. It would not make sense. What's going to happen when I graph this first line? It'll overlap. And then I go to graph the second line. Can I make a second line, or is it just the same line? Same line. That's what that means asking. every point on that line is a solution for it. Oh. Everywhere it crosses an xy pair works in these. That's, exactly That's why it's infinite. Okay. That's why graphing is the best, you think? No, that's why it's the worst. It, yeah, I mean, it doesn't tell you. <laughs> yes! He is the worst. Excuse you, Gustavo? He's had to bring a stuffed animal for moral support today. Does anyone else like graphing? Let's look at the second. I'm sorry, I said we shouldn't do that to waste time. Method number two is to solve the system algebraically. Oh my goodness. And by solving algebraically, that's basically what we've been doing. Unless you're Maverick. Oh, wow. <laughs> because the algebraic ways are substitution and elimination. Graphing is not algebraically, right? Oh, so okay. <laughs> I'm going to take and I'm going to sub the first one into the second one. Because substitution is the best, especially when you already have one solve for one of the variables. Hold on. Since when do you like substitution? And what happens to elimination? I, I changed his mind yesterday. Or no, I didn't. Somebody at lunch did. Yeah. 2x minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 equals 0. And then I'm going to say... 2x minus 2x minus, so what's going to happen here is this is going to end up being 2x minus 2x minus 1 plus 1 equals 0. What do you notice is going to happen here? Infinite. These are going to cancel out and so are these. So 0 equals 0. Is that true? Yes. We don't have an xy pair. We're just finding that if I solve this algebraically I get a true statement. False statements mean no solution. True statements without an xy pair is infinite. Okay. Okay, and just a little tiny bit of vocabulary that you might see later. Let's just draw a line here. We're going to have what we call independent systems. And what do you think the opposite of the independent is? 
dependent systems. Independent systems, there's a long wordy definition in your book, but independent systems just mean there's exactly one solution. Most of what you guys will solve are, are independent. It has exactly one XY pair. Dependent systems have infinite solutions. So if you want to look a little bit closer at this, it's not something that I will be testing for, but on page 421 in your book, there's a nice table that talks about independent, dependent, and then consistent and inconsistent. And you guys could practice this. I, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to spend much more time on it because we're not going to be testing for it. Um, but just know that there's differences within the systems a little bit. So today, I, I'm going back traditional style, and you guys are going to be solving some problems in the book. Yay. We're starting on page 423. And I'm going to have you guys do numbers 1 through two. One through 11. Number 11 is a word problem. We have not done these since the first day when I introduced systems. Remember when we did them, you made let statements and you made the variables. They may not be x, y, but you're going to come up with two variables. Okay. This problem is miles per hour. So like let m equal miles and h equal hours. Okay. Uh, we will do some more practice with word problems after today. I, I really do want to get us back to that because, like I said, this chapter in Algebra 1 is probably the most relevant to real life. It doesn't seem like it when you're working with these crazy sets of equations. But when we start getting back into the word problems, I think you guys will see the relevance. Okay?